Ah, greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you're off to a great Thursday and happy Independence Day if you are in the United States. Now, one of the major stories coming out of Korea today is, of course, the new video from Kenneth Bay. Now, he is the American that was arrested, tried, and convicted of infiltrating North Korea earlier this year and in the video he states the following although my health is not good i am being patient and coping well and i hope that with the help of the north korean government and the united states i will be released soon kenneth bay also mentioned i was hoping that my problem would be worked out by the end of june so my hope is that north korea will forgive and the u.s will try harder to get me out speedily I am asking for their help. Now, ever since this situation first came to light when Kenneth Bay was held last November, the United States has issued several statements concerning whether or not he was treated fairly, whether or not the entire process was above board, and that there was sufficient transparency in the trial. Now, the U.S. representative here in Seoul, Brent Breyers, who is from the United States Embassy, he commented, said that there is no greater priority for us than the welfare and safety of United States citizens abroad, and we urge the DPRK authorities to grant Mr. Bay amnesty and immediate release. Now, the Korean Central News Agency, otherwise known as the KCNA, did outline Mr. Bay's alleged crimes, and these included that he was trying to set up bases in China for the purpose of overthrowing the North Korean government, that he participated in carrying out a malignant smear campaign, and that he was also trying to initiate what they were calling the Jericho operation which was spreading christianity in north korea in an attempt to topple the regime now given the scope of his alleged crimes i don't think for one instant that kenneth bay actually did any of these things however i do believe that when he entered in north korea last year that he was proselytizing which is of course against the law in north korea so unfortunately he did appear to have broken some laws in North Korea and of course was then arrested and then tried and convicted. But I don't think the punishment fits the actual crime he committed. North Korea just simply overreached, overstepped, and is making an example of Kenneth Bay. So the question I have for you is this. Should the United States go above and beyond its current course of action to secure the release of Kenneth Bay? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And of course, you can get links to the articles by heading over to chiranger.com. Until next time, remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.